All right, hello again, and this time I'm going to show you a make.com scenario that does some complex calculations for me. It takes a bunch of data and fully automates a process that I was doing manually. Um, so I'm going to walk you through it and kind of show you some of the scenarios uh, pieces. There's some pseudocode in here because I'm just kind of showing you the idea. Um, I have my real scenario working and I have a lot of different customizations in there that we just take some time to explain, so I'm simplifying it here, but essentially it's the same thing. So what happens is I watch for email that comes in on my Microsoft 365 account. I verify that email. I make sure it's coming from the team I'm looking for. If it doesn't, it'll just drop. It, it doesn't continue on. So, you know, you have to have some verification in the beginning, so otherwise you don't get this processing every single email you get. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna look for a CSV file that's sent to me from the patching team. So essentially what the, what the idea here is, we have systems, whether it's servers, workstations, whatever, they're being patched and I want to take that data, I wanna iterate through it, which I'm doing up here, and I wanna, I wanna take all parts of that and compile which is which based on a percentage. Basically, I'm just taking some calculations and handling it there. So I'm doing a calculation, I'm setting the variables so I can do calculations in here. And again, I'm showing you this is a pseudo because I wanna look at what is a percentage. Uh, so I just divide the number by a number and times it by 100. I get that first calculation and then I do it again. I set the variable and then I do it again times 100 and I set the percentage. Again, I'm doing a pseudo code here to kind of give you the idea, but very easy to do. Uh, in your scenarios. And then what I do is I send an email just so I have record of it. Again, I'm, I'm over like documenting here, but I like to have places for it so I can check any way I want, whether it's email, my Excel spreadsheet or Google sheet or whatever I have, right? So I send an email back to myself of what that number is for both sides. And then what I do is I update a master list. It's another Excel document. Actually, it's, the, it's another sheet in the same Excel document uh, that I have to track this for. And then what I do uh, is I get the percentage. Again, I iterate through the data. I get the percentage of patching successes of a certain calculation that I have. So it's a threshold. For certain things, it could be it has to be more than one. For another entity, it has to be more than four at a certain date and a certain criteria that I want, right? So based on that data, I'm setting the number of that content based on what that is. So I parse out that, that information and I, I basically make a decision tree here with this router and I say, all right, I need to make a decision based on what came through and if it came through as either workstations or servers, it's gonna make that, that filter is here dependent on the data. I know that's really kind of complex, but it gives you the basic idea of this that I need to make a decision saying if it's workstations, I need you to update the team. They have a spreadsheet that they track things on. Again, every team has spreadsheets that they're tracking data on. So I'm gonna update that spreadsheet automatically and I'm gonna send a push notification out to the team manager saying, here you go. So that way they have record of it, they have a push notification of it and they can easily go into a meeting and say, okay, here's my number for the metrics, here's, here's what we're looking at or take some action appropriately based on that. And the same for the server team. So this way I'm not sending a ton of emails out. I mean, I can, but again, you get the idea that you can really break this down and set some parameters and really filter out certain data so you can get the right data to the right people to make right decisions and be able to report on it, right? And I'm doing this all automatically. If you have ideas, write them down, flow them out. Use, use a, a system like Miro or Visio or even Scratchpad, whatever the case may be, you can document it out, figure out the flow, figure out the process and be able to handle it and get it out the way you need. All right, so if you have any questions, you wanna see more of this, let me know, but don't forget to uh, just give me a follow, subscribe on my channel, and that'd be great. Have a good one.